Violence against women and girls is the most widespread form of abuse worldwide. It leaves lifelong negative impacts on their health, peace and stability. To provide support for these survivors, the Spotlight Initiative was launched in 2020 in Grenada under a six-pillar framework. Pillar 4 focuses on improving the delivery of essential services to survivors of family violence. This is being done by scaling up social services, counseling, psychosocial support, and long-term safety net programs for survivors. Now much has been achieved on the pillar four of the Spotlight Initiative. We have focused our attention on scaling up of the services provided by all of the sectors involved in response to gender-based violence. And some of the activities conducted have been retrofitting of spaces as well as training of staff uh, in case management and crisis management. But one of the most important achievements on the Pillar 4 thus far has been the development of the National Standard Operating Procedure for Gender-Based Violence for Grenada. We are extremely happy about this and the intention of the standard operating procedure is to guide all the sectors involved, that being social, health, police and the justice sector to provide quality, coordinated, comprehensive, client-centered, efficient, effective and non-discriminatory response to gender-based violence. Under Pillar 4 of the Spotlight Initiative, Sweetwater Foundation was mandated to provide psychosocial counseling to, I think, 120 women and girls who have been affected by domestic violence or sexual violence, particularly within the context of the COVID lockdown. Um, but we quickly realized that we need to service families, the children of these women, and the parents sometimes of our victims. So we ended up instead of say a hundred clients, Sweetwater Foundation found um, the time to work with over 500 of them um, because we thought it was irresponsible to just stop short at the mark, but uh, try to deliver a very fulsome service and at that, we've had a wonderful success. One of the main achievements at Cedar's Home through Spotlight has been the creation of an isolation room, which has benefited all the residents in preventing the spread of COVID-19. And also with the installation of sanitation stations throughout the facility. That has been the key achievement for the Spotlight in this moment when the COVID-19 virus is very present in our community. My name is Anya Braffitt and I'm the facilitator for the Spotlight Women's Entrepreneurship Program. It's a small component of the project, but a very important component because what it aims to do is to empower and provide these women with business and soft skills, which can help them to develop an independence a self-confidence and a self-esteem. They understand the environment, they know where they can go to get help and assistance. And we've been through a lot of detail just to ensure that they really are feeling a lot more confident about setting up a business. You can see the improvement in, in the women and I'm very proud as a Grenadian facilitator to be a part of this project helping to push the developmental aspect of our women, push that agenda um, much further than it is at, at this point.
and we continue to work in partnership with all the various stakeholder organizations, both governmental and civil society, to ensure that Legal Aid and Counseling Clinic is a critical part of the work to end violence against women and girls in Grenada now. End violence against women and girls now. End violence against women and girls now.